okay so for the customization first we want to change the default WHMCS logo on the top here and then we also want to change the logo for the email templates which will show up on the top of our emails the same logo we will be using then we will add a Symantec safe site seal here which we will need to purchase and then we got we are going to customize the email templates lastly we are going to test the whole order process so first off you can decide what kind of logo you want to use once you have a concept i usually google it out the image um, that i want to use is light bulb it represents an idea of some kind so i was searching on google and i come across this one which is not a free one it's from dreams time but if you search on google you can come across images from all different kind of websites or photo stock websites so i like this particular one if i click there this is the actual image so i downloaded the the actual image here which is this extra large size so i can use on t-shirts caps jackets um, any kind of clothing apparels and even on my on vehicles for advertising so it's um, you can also purchase a factor size logo which we can additionally use for even larger medium so what I did is I purchased this image and then for website purposes we don't need a, a sophisticated image editing tool I just go to photo editor online which is pixlr.com if i reload here this is what you get if you go to pixlr editor and i usually just open the image from my computer and this is the original image and you can play around a bit you can rotate things rotate the bulb and i end up having this image if I open file, open image, club coder, this is what we have here. So we can use this logo and replace the WHMCS default logo with um, that one from here. But I'm going to do a bit of editing because the club is, is, is a bit um it's kind of bolded which i don't like i want to change this and make it the same size or the same font as this one so i'm not gonna show you the whole editing part because it's outside of the scope of this whole project tutorial but it'll take about maybe 15 minutes or so to modify the image into the logo that you really want to use so I'm going to pause this and I'm going to show you the final logo after I edit this one. So this is the better one. It looks more, you know, more sleek. Just one type of font, club coder. And we are going to use this now. So once you got this, you just save it on your computer. And let's replace this. I'm going to replace this. How do you know which image file? Just right click on there and you can copy image location. If I put it there, you can see templates default img folder and then whmcs logo.png. So let's browse on that area. Launch the file manager here. Go to the templates folder default and img we have whmcs logo now i'm going to do an upload of my own logo which is club coder 
choose from my documents folder it's what where is it club coder logo is this one so I'm gonna use that one open and upload that it's complete at the bottom here you see I'm gonna close this and reload this one or it's reloading the whole page okay I'm gonna navigate to that again so it's under templates default IMG we have club code logo so I'm just gonna delete this uh, file here I'm gonna delete that and then I'm just gonna rename this one WHMCS logo rename the file there now if I refresh this um, website let's see if actually there we go perfect just the way I want it so next I am going to add a Symantec safe site seal on the top part here what we do is we go to enom.com and order the safe site seal let me log into my enom account here <coughs> and log in with my account so let's try my other account which I used to set this whole new club coder project so you go to reseller no you go to security and then you go to Symantec safe site and you go to overview so you can buy it for 20 83 a month but you actually have to pay it annually so if you buy this seal you can see the actual price is two hundred and forty nine dollars and ninety five and I have already purchased one for club coder so once you purchase the whole thing it's going to take three to four days or even five business days I think it's five business days for them to actually check you up you have to make sure your website is up actually this part is already up and running and make sure your contact details is available in your who is um, domain name information as well so once they go through the whole verification process you will receive a a welcome email let me open my welcome email here so this is the welcome email we got from Symantec once the order has been approved so to pick up the seal I'm going to use at the second URL here it goes to another website and we just have to enter the domain name which is clubcoder.com and my email address when I order the seal and the capture there G2321 continue maybe that's a 9 huh that's right 32678 continue there we go we have Symantec safe site which is this one so I'm going to hit request access here so an email has been sent to the supplied email address please click on the link and there we go as you can see it it's there I'm gonna go by inbox here this one so another email to continue please visit this one so I'm gonna go ahead and continue and here is my details and my seal installation is on the left here I'm gonna click there I'm 
there we have it so let's go ahead and instructions here choose your seal english i want it to be large um i don't want it to be animated so just an image should be fine i'm going to enter www clubcoder.com i accept create the script now we got this part okay so i'm going to copy this and paste it on my header so it is going to display all over my whmcs so if i go back to my file manager i'm going to my templates folder now templates and then portal oh no we are using the default default template and then find header dot tpl for template and i'm gonna go my code editor here and hit edit here i'm going to put the table somewhere on the top after the logo so let's see where is um, the logo okay let's scroll up i think it's this one here as you see whmcs logo so i'm gonna put a table here i'm gonna do it the old school way i'm a table guy but i'm sure you have upgraded your skills into css3 and html5 but let's let's make it simple for this demo i'm going to make it a table table percent new row new division which is here and then close that one a new one again close that one close the row and close the table right so here i'm going to insert our seal which is that part make a uh, an indent there now now i don't want the bottom part here because it's just adding a an extra text i'm going to remove that right and this is supposed to be on the right so align right this is supposed to be on the left with a hundred percent um let's try that i'm gonna save the changes and refresh our shopping cart see uh, how it looks now awesome so we have the seal on the top there right we can i don't like it's a bit there's some area that i'm gonna put the cell padding and the cell spacing at zero so let's do that save this and reload so it doesn't have too much white space yeah that's better so let's click on there and there we go clubcoder.com is a safe site and it has the green link there and all looks good now it looks better isn't it now this is yellow this is yellow same color which is awesome so next we are going to go and change our email template logos and the templates itself so i'm going to go ahead and close all these other browsers here we got all we we need and we want close all of those close this as well and this too we don't need this for now 
And I'm going to log into my WHMCS admin. Oops, sorry, not that one. Club coder, this one. And inside, we are going to go to setup, general settings. Here, we have logo URL, right? So we want to use enter your logo URL to display in email messages or leave blank for none. So we want to use the same image, which is this one. So I'm going to copy this image, save image, uh, no, copy image location and put the location here. There we go. And I'm going to save changes. Now all our emails will have this logo on the top. And next is the email templates. We are going to customize our email templates. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go to setup and then we're going to go to email templates here. 